Well, YouTubers, it is I, the Hell Gear, and this wonderful thing that you see here. Oh, Jesus, let's try that again. This wonderful thing that you see here is the old Hellavision banner. Now, to those of you who've ever clicked on the link from the YouTube channel that goes to the bulletin board, at the end of a recording day, I take this wonderful banner here and go, such and such was updated on the channel. As you can see, a lot of stuff is on the channel. Now for this wonderful channel update, I figure I'd give you guys a progress report. Of course, one of the things I like to do is I like to audit what's going on the channel and what's going on as far as what you guys view, what you guys like, dislike, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, I don't, I don't dual-wield monitors, you guys, okay? I, I only have one monitor. I don't dual-wield or tri-wield like some, some YouTubers out there. That's just crazy stuff, man. How, how are your eyes not shot after looking at two different monitors, man? That's crazy. I'd have to give that a try, but man, my eyes would probably be like... <sighs> Ah, holding a camera in front of a computer screen because you don't have a small tripod. <laughs> okay, back to the brass tax at hand. This is a... But this, bleh, I can English. Is it time for me to sip my cream soda again so I can help, help myself speak? Okay, back to this. So, what's going on on the channel, huh? All this stuff. So, got my cursor here. Hopefully, I'll just point things out. Some of this stuff is self-explanatory. So, first and foremost of the stuff that isn't. We got a dual disc here. That's for the Yu-Gi-Oh! content. Anytime I get some new Yu-Gi-Oh! content, whether it be a card unboxing, whether I talk about specific card archetypes and whatnot, I use that icon right there. Over here is a movie reel. Jesus, let me zoom in on that. Let's try zooming. There we go. Okay, so right there where my icon is is a movie reel. Anytime I do movie reviews, I use this icon. Yes, there are more movie reviews coming up, especially the uh, <laughs> second Incredibles movie that's coming out. Now, you know I'm going to review that because I've seen the first one. It's getting some critics, blah, blah, blah. Okay, next to it is my first bubble story icon. Alrighty, moving up. This strawberry right here is the icon that I use for Strawberry Shortcake Berry Rush. Now, I don't know what is going on there. I've actually sent a question to Miniclip as far as what's going on with the game. There's still three more characters in the game, so... I don't know if it's going to be done or not. There are 12 episodes of Strawberry Shortcake Berry Rush. So this series is a bit up in the air. Now if there's nothing else left going on with Strawberry Shortcake Berry Rush as far as no more new characters. Then I'll probably just be like, alright, that's all for this one. Now next to it is Bomberman Fantasy Race. And I've been taking an audit on this and this isn't really getting viewed as much. It's alright though. Because I finished the main campaign, it's just the mirror mode campaign. And since the interest for the mirror mode campaign is not there, I'm probably just going to leave that as it is. So, let me just uh, turn that one off. Okay. Nope, 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 nope. Is it? No, that's, that's the wrong one. There we go. Okay. Bomberman World and Super Bomberman R. Let's talk about those two. I just recently uploaded an episode of Bomberman World, which is good because that game's coming to a close. So that's almost done for that series. I hope you guys have enjoyed it. As for Super Bomberman R... All right, I'll just be honest with you. Apparently, uh, 
my Bomberman group doesn't want me seeing any more Bomberman videos. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to finish these two games out, and then that'll be it for the series. So, I hope you are enjoying them as well. You know, Bomberman is a fun little game that I like to play. I figured I'd give them a shot. Why not? Now, let's get into some meat and potatoes business here. Let's move the cursor over some. There we go. Snoopy's Town Tale. Let's talk about this, ser this series. First and foremost, I have been playing. Snoopy's Town Tale has updated. And it's been a really big update, too, because... Um, and I'll probably explain this next episode of Snoopy's Town Tale. But there's more land, there's a higher level cap, and there's another chapter. Including a new character. So, Snoopy's Town Tale isn't dead. The only problem is, in order to access this new chapter, you have to be level 50. And I'm currently sitting at 45. So, I've been doing a bit of leveling up. Town Tale Tuesday isn't gone, you guys. No big deal. Still going to do some Town Tale Tuesday. Don't worry about that. Next to it right here is Smurf's Epic Run. First and foremost, I would like to apologize to everyone watching the Smurf's Epic Run playthrough. Um, the Ice Cube event didn't go to my liking. I actually didn't complete it, but I managed to uh, put the chips down to get Nurse Smurfette. So... I do have Nurse Smurfette. I'm going to do a fail whale, uh, fail whale lap on that. So that's on its way. Next to it is my little personal icon that I did for the Binding of Isaac Afterbirth Plus. Now, let's be real. If you're playing on Steam, you probably know about the booster pack that came out with the new character, The Forgotten. Nicholas has not said when the Wii U, oh wait, Jesus, Wii U version? Oh my god, it's not on the Wii U. The Switch version of this hasn't had any news as far as when the Forgotten's Booster Pack is going on it. So, hopefully I can get access to the Forgotten on the Switch. If not, that's fine. No big deal. Next to it, this guy right here is my icon that I use. That I made personally, because you know, the Binding of Isaac Afterbirth Plus icon, I personally made that myself. Anyway, next to it is the one that I use for South Park the Fractured But Whole. As you guys saw, or should have seen, Casa Bonita has come to a close. I still have one more episode left for you guys, and then it'll be off to the next DLC. Again, thank you guys for letting me know that you do not want to see me do the danger deck. That is, uh, that's good info. Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. Not getting as many views on this one. It's okay, you know. Mario Kart 8 is what brought my channel to the dance. I wanted to play Mario Kart 8 Deluxe, you know, because it's Mario Kart and because it's still one of four constantly promoted Switch games. Now, this wonderful dragon and the eggs. This is my icon for Merge Dragons. Today is Monday that I'm recording this, and I'm not going to be posting up another a Merge Dragons episode today. I'm going to get into that really quickly. Quickly, a little bit later after I explain all these icons. But if you are playing Merge Dragons, the game has updated. With this update, there's a new premium area. There is a new nest of eggs that you can get in the shop called the Martian Dragon Eggs. They said that the Moon Dragon event is coming back around, and it'll be coming around soon. So I'm not sure whether or not I want to play that again. Also, with this update, they have changed the chests. Yes, the... Uh, delicious dragon chests they look different you can merge them again well you could merge them before but what they've done is they've changed the designs on some of the dragon chests so they're more recognizable at least that's what they said when it came to the uh, Google Play download alright let's move this over 
Papa Smurf's head here is the icon I use for Smurf's Village. There is more Smurf's Village on its way. So, to everybody waiting on Smurfy Saturdays, yes, the, it's, it's not over. I just had to stack chips. So, one of the things that I wanted to do is I made a new playlist called the New Smurf Episodes. And here's the thing. As you can tell, there are three different Smurf games going on on the channel. Village, Bubble Story, and Epic Run. And what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to economize things. So, what's happening on the newest Smurf episodes is this. Anytime one of these new games updates, I'll be showing the announcement in the newest Smurf episodes spot. Naturally, of course, I'm going to uh, update the original um, playlists too. But, I want to take up a little bit of the congestion because you know there's three different diff three different Smurfs games and of course in the description for that playlist is a link to all of the Smurf Smurfiness that I have on the channel. Uh, let's talk about Mario Rabbids Kingdom Battle while I have it right here. That's been kicking my cheeks in and viewing time hasn't been too nice so this is what I'm going to do as far as Mario Rabbids is concerned. I'm going to finish out the current chapter, and if the viewership isn't to my liking, that's going to be it for that series. Simply put, Kirby Star Allies is still uploading on Wednesdays. That's no big deal. You know, I, I like uploading this on Wednesdays because I made a promise to you guys if the new Kirby game came out on a playable way for me that I recorded and I have left up to that. A lot of people aren't happy with how this game has ended. I will talk about that when I review the game as well. Alright, next up, Animal Crossing Pocket Camp. I'm still playing this. I'm almost level 52 and the second fishing tournament is currently active. So to all of you who are playing that, I wish you the best of luck. It's kind of died down because many of the reasons... Bleh, English, please. The main reason I play this game is because it keeps in contact with my friends. Many of my friends have got this game to play with them. I played it with my friends. But many of my friends have actually stopped playing Animal Crossing Pocket Camp. Some of them have even explained that it has that it gives their mobile devices bloatware. So, I'm going to talk about that later. There's also an Animal Crossing Pocket Camp survey in the works, so I will be talking about that as well. So, what does verse mean? I have a playlist that's called Open Verse. This is what I say my piece on whatever. It's my soapbox, my opinions on the news, blah, blah, blah. Anything that I talk about as far as that for Open Verse goes into that playlist. That updates whenever. You know, that's how it is. Self-explanatory. Finally, is Splatoon 2. Alright, here's the deal. Some of you guys are wondering what's up with Splatoon 2. Why are episodes few and far between as far as the series is concerned? When I did an audit, the viewer base for Splatoon 2 really died away. But one of the things that I've done since... uh. The very first Splat, well, not the very first Splatfest, because that's Splatfest Zero. But since Splatfest number one, I would do a little video where it's the dance break, where I'm dancing with one of my amiibos. And I've kept true to this, and I'm going to continue to keep true to this, even if the viewership for Splatoon 2 dies down. Now, with the release of the Octo expansion that is going on, Hopefully some viewership will come back to that because I do plan on doing the Octo expansion for the channel. I'm still playing Splatoon 2 as you guys saw with the most recent dance break. I'm level 36 now so that's really good. So yes, I'm still playing Splatoon 2. You know, I may do an episode of Salmon Run. But... Mainly, I'm going to just keep it on the low lows. 
Now, let me know if you guys want to see some more Splatoon 2 content. You know, I'm, I'm still up for recording some Splatoon 2 Fs for you guys, even before the Octo expansion. And to those of you who don't know, I cleared Hero Mode without getting a game over. That's something very few people have done, especially on YouTube. <laughs> so, I'm pretty proud of that. But yes, there is more Splatoon 2 on its way. So hopefully you guys will tune in when it goes up. No big deal. And that is essentially all I have to say as far as television is concerned, right? Wrong. There are some things that are coming up. I'm not going to uh, tell you what they are. But I already have the television icons for them. You will know when they come up. Now to the real black. Now to the real issue here. I have to take my camera in. That's right. I gotta take my camera in. This is one of those things that you have to do because you know cameras wear out over time, and because this camera is still on warranty, I want to get it looked at. It really needs to be looked at, so. I'm going to have my camera looked over. I don't know how long this is going to take. I don't know how long camera repairs usually happen, but if it's anything like watch repairs, it's going to be at least a couple of weeks. So, when I get the old camera back, things are going to be back to normal as far as the channel goes. If you guys want to uh, keep tabs on me, remember I am on Twitter. Feel free to follow me on the old blue bird known as Twitter. I do tweet, so that's another way you can catch me. If you guys have any questions, let me know in the comment section below. Thank you guys, and I'll see you next time.